Hello, my name is Nikki. I'm a veterinary assistant here at Dove Lewis in the cardiology department and today I'm going to show you how to place an ECG on a dog. Um, I'm going to show you how to do this with our three lead system. Our colors are white, black, and red. Um, I've already applied some ultrasound gel to each clip. That's kind of my preferred way to do it. Um, rather than using alcohol alone, the ultrasound gel can really help with um, connection and getting a really nice, clear ECG. So we're going to go ahead and apply these leads to each limb. Um, the colors are basically the manufacturer's way of guiding where each lead should go on the animal. So um, some have green, some are like uh, white, red, and green. And then you have your four lead systems, which can be red, yellow, green, and black. So there's a bunch of colors and basically they're just the manufacturer telling you where to place each lead. So our system has the white on the right front limb, black on the left front limb, and red on the left hind limb. So I'll go ahead and place those now. I like to place lower on the limb kind of distally because I feel like you get less interference that way. Um, you know, if they're panting or if they want to make make sounds, then they don't, don't you don't hear it as well. Um, and before I start with just putting alcohol on these leads. I'm going to turn on my machine and see if it's actually necessary. I don't want alcohol to be my first go-to because if this is on in an emergency situation and the patient needs to be defibrillated, you do have risk of, um, of a fire hazard with alcohol on the patient. So I always like to just keep that in the back of my mind and make it kind of a habit, even in non-emergent situations. So we can see that our it's reading pretty well now. Um, I can see P waves with QRS complexes. I'm pretty happy with um, what my leads are looking like. Um, some things you can see as artifact are if whenever he moves, I can see that I start losing the clear association of P waves with QRS complexes and then the spaces in between those beats. Um, things that can cause artifact are patient movement. Um, his leg being up this way, can that dangling can actually cause some artifact. So um, if I'm not happy with how clear my image is, I could um, have both limbs being restrained in the front but he's doing really well and it's reading well for me and that's how we place ecg leads here at dove lewis